Hi, this is Heather with Especially Paper. Being able to add scores to your Silhouette Paper projects creates a lot of new possibilities. Score lines make it easy to fold paper to create boxes and other three-dimensional objects with crisp, neat folds. And creating score lines in Silhouette Studio is really easy if you just know where to look. I'll walk you through the process of turning cut lines into score lines step by step. The template I'm using as an example is the Especially Paper Cuckoo Clock Christmas Ornament. If you're interested in this template, you can find it at especiallypaper.com. But this tutorial shows you how to set up scores for any project. Another good thing to know is that you don't need the latest silhouette machine to create score lines. I'm using an older machine with a single blade carriage. The machine cuts either the scores or the cut lines across the entire sheet first, then does a second pass for the rest of the project. First, you need to prepare the design. When you open a cutting file from especially paper that includes scores, the score lines will be in aqua and regular cut lines in black. Notice that when you click on one of the aqua lines, all of them will be selected. If you're creating your own score lines, you simply need to apply a dedicated color to the score lines. Select the lines that need to be scored. Go to the Panels menu in the top navigation bar and select Line Style. In the Line Style panel, click the red, green, and blue line icon. With the line still selected, choose a color for the score lines. The color you choose doesn't matter, it just needs to be different than the color of other lines in the project. When creating score lines, keep in mind that the scores will only be on one side of the sheet. With a little coaxing, you can fold a score either way but the fold is cleanest and easiest when the score line is on the outside of the fold. Now that the design has a dedicated color for score lines, you need to adjust the cut settings. Go to the Send panel. In the upper right, switch to the Line tab. In the top section, select the color for score lines and use the drop-down menu to change the action to score. If the material is set to a thin paper like plain paper, scoring won't be an option. Now adjust the cut settings in the bottom section. I use 65 pound cardstock for most projects and find that a cutting force of one and a single pass work well for score lines. Now select the color for the cut lines and adjust the settings to cut. You can even choose to do two passes for an individual color. Now you're all set to send the project to the machine. If you enjoy paper crafts, especially cutting machine crafts, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, check out especiallypaper.com for paper craft projects and templates.